Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make colour changing text on a GUI. Just before the video begins I'd just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. Now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to head over to Start a GUI, and you want to insert a screen GUI. Now for this tutorial, we'll also be inserting a frame, and this frame is going to expand over our whole, our whole entire screen, and then we want to set the background transparency to 1. Feel free to rename these to whatever you want, but for this tutorial, it is not necessary. So inside of this frame, we now want to go and insert either a text label, a text button, or text box. It's completely up to you. Anything that has text on it, which is a UI, will work. So for this tutorial, we will go and use a text button, for example. And let's just go and move our text button, let's say over here, for uh, video purposes. We'll go and put our text button there. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to go and make the text slightly larger so that we can actually see it properly. So we want to go to text scale, we'll change the font. Oh, sorry, that's, that's the weight of the text. We'll change the font there, and you can just leave it as button. But obviously, you can have it whatever you want. This can be used on your button, but for this tutorial, we're just going to be leaving it how it is and leave it to the default settings here. So once you've finished adjusting everything on your button or whatever your UI is, which is going to be having the text, you want to go over to the text button or your, whatever your thing is there inside the frame, and you want to click on the plus button and either insert a local script or a script. Now, it doesn't really matter on what you choose. Local script basically means that whenever you join in, uh, the script will run normally. But if someone else joins in, like your friend, those transitions and the colors could be out of change or out of time with each other. Because basically what will happen if, let's say, player B or player A joins in, the script will start running for them. And But at the moment player B joins in, the second player, the script will only just start running them, basically meaning the colors won't always match up. Where if you use a normal script, it will happen worldwide and when it, whenever player B joins in, it will be where player A's colors currently are. So you can decide if you want that or not, it doesn't really matter too much, to be fair. Um, for this tutorial, we'll just use a local script. So once you've chosen which script you want to do, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, and paste it in here, remove all the previous code, and then paste it into Roblox Studio. Now just keep in mind, I have tested both of these with a local script and a normal script, so it does actually work, but if you seem to come across any problems, feel free to send me a message on Discord, and I'll happily help you out. So once you've inserted the code into the script, I'm going to give you a quick run through on what happens here. So while true do up here, is a loop, so this will loop forever and ever, however long the player is in the server, or however long the server is open for and running. So what will happen here, it'll loop and it'll go first to the script.theParent, which is script.parent, and then dot text color, which is there down by the text settings, so we're adjusting this text color right here, and that will be set to a red for starters, and then it waits zero seconds, it basically changes instantly like a flick, and then it goes to the next color and it just continues looping just like that. But I'll show you guys how it works now. So it's not really needed to adjust anything because it goes through all the necessary colors. So once you've inserted the code, you just want to go up here, click on the X button next to your script. And then we want to go back to our home bar top up here and click on the play button to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And as we can see on the left, our button is changing color. So here we are, we're on a green. Now we're going to a darker blue, we're on a pink. We're on a red, we're on an orange, we're back to green, and then we go over to the blue again, the purple, and so on. And it continues to loop over and over. And we've got it to have this really nice smooth transition here where it changes like the colors really smoothly and fades them in and out. It's really cool. So there you guys have it. That is the color changing GUI text. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.
Peace.